Hello, welcome to our YouTube channel, Max College. Today also, I am ready to teach the new lessons of grade 7. It is the decimal lesson. Okay, now let's go. What are the things we have to learn for the today? The first decimals. When I explain what is the decimals, think about it. The rectangle, the square shape is divided is the one unit. One unit. Considering this is the one unit. Then it's divided by the ten equal parts. Ten equal parts. The one is the color. How can we write this the shaded part? as the fraction it can be written as 1 upon 10 1 10 is the fraction then how to write this fraction as a decimal then it can be written as like this 0 0.1 0 0.1 the denominator in the denominator number is the 10 the 10 having one zero therefore the decimal number also having only the one decimal place this place is the first decimal place first decimal place the reading method of this is 0 0.1 Again, I will color another two parts in this figure. Another two parts. Then, how to write the shaded fractions? The fractions, there are the ten equal parts, three of colors. Then it can be written three upon ten as the fraction. Then, the decimal, this 3 upon 10, written as 0 0.3. 0 0.3. Then also, we have colored another 3 parts. 3 parts. The total color parts are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 are shaded. Then the shaded fraction can be written as 6 upon 10. As the decimal, it can be written 0 0.6. 0 0.6. The all are the one decimal place. This is the first decimal place. The number denominator 10, all are the denominator is the 10. The 10 having one zero therefore the decimal number also having one decimal place go through the next figure considering this is the one unit the one unit i will divide it by the hundred equal parts hundred equal parts one is colored then how to write the colored part as the fraction then 100 parts in here, 1 part is colored. Then 1 upon 100 as a fraction. How to write it as a decimal? Considering the denominator. The denominator having two zeros. Therefore, the decimal number also having the two decimal places. This is the one decimal place. Second decimal place is the number 1. Go to the another example. I will color this 1, 6, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then how many colored parts? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 upon 100. Then, how to write this one? There are two numbers. The two numbers goes to the two decimal places. Like that, 0 0.11 is the reading method. 
zero point one one. This one zero point zero one. Not eleven in here. Zero point one one. Another one I will color in here. The figure having eleven shaded parts. Color it. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Okay, look at it. I will color the twenty-five equal parts. How to write it as the fractions? Twenty-five. The all the parts are hundred. Then twenty five upon hundred. How to write this one as a decimal? Then the two zeros in here it can be written as two decimal zero point two five zero point two five. This is the first decimal place and the next one second decimal place. It, it can be named as tenth place. Tenth place. This one hundredth place. Hundredth place. Tenth place. Hundredth place. The this number having the denominators are equal to ten. Only the tenth place. Okay. Go through the next session. Okay. Now go through the another examples. You can ob observe these uh, questions. You can improve your knowledge how to write the fraction as a decimal number. Okay, let's go it. The first one given into the denominator is the ten. The second one denominator is the hundred. The third one denominator is the thousand. Now you know that how to write this fraction as a decimal. There is a one zero. They are for the decimal number having only one decimal place. It's zero point five. Zero point five. Zero point five. Next, the denominator is hundred. There are two zeros in here. Therefore, the decimal having two decimal places, it can be written zero point zero point two three zero point two three, not twenty three. The third one, the denominator is thousand. Therefore, three zeros in here. The decimal number three decimal places zero point. One two five zero point one two five one two five zero point one two five. Go to the next one. Three hundred upon thousand. It can be written as three decimal places. Three zero zero. Zero point three zero zero. Next example, the denominator is thousand. Zero point six seven eight. Six seven eight. This first decimal place can be named ten place. Ten place. The second decimal place can be named hundreds place. Hundreds place. Hundreds place. The third decimal place can be named thousands place. Thousand place. Thousand place. Tens place. Hundred place. Ten thousands place. Let's go. How to represent this number in the abacus? Now. Look at how to represent in the decimal numbers in the abacus. Okay, now first one I will give zero point one five. Zero point one five. Identify the what are the 
uh, places in here. Zero represented in the ones place, and the first decimal place is represented in the tens place, and the second decimal place represented in the hundred place. Therefore, in the tens, the tens place represented this rod is the number is one then one circle in here and the second one hundreds place number five represented one two three four five of in here five circles in here uh, ones place no number zero in here therefore no circles in this row go through the second example 0.125 three decimal places in here first decimal place tens place second decimal place hundreds place third decimal place thousand place ones place no number represented and the first decimal place it's a tens place tens place represented only one then one circle in here and the second one hundred place two numbers two numbers two hundreds then the third decimal place five numbers one two one two three four five then observe these two examples how to represent the decimal number as a in the abacus the special one ones place tens place hundred place is the whole number place value and the decimal number places tenth th tenth hundreds thousands is the method okay now i explain today i will explain the lesson decimal how to write the fractions as a decimal and also how to represent the decimal number in the abacus thank you for joining me and also subscribe our youtube channel maths college again meet the next part of the decimal lesson have a good day to everyone